Hello guys and welcome to June's Mystery Box video. Um, today we have uh, obviously the normal Mystery Box opening and then only two other shirts I've bought this month. Haven't decided to buy as many shirts this month, I'm trying to save some money as I said previously. Um, so I think that's going to be the main theme for the rest of the year. Uh, basically I'm trying to save up for a house and that's the reason that that is the case. Um, so the last video didn't do as well view wise so far which is a bit annoying but hopefully we uh, get there um, eventually by the time this video comes out uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, so let's get straight to it and see where we've got it from. So this week uh, I decided, oh this month sorry, I decided to go for a, a Instagram company called uh, Random footy shirts uh, links obviously will be down below uh, in the description and um, they are an instagram little small company uh, they don't have a website or anything you do it through instagram i think it's just one guy to be honest and he sends over the uh, random footy shirt and um, it came quite a while ago actually i just haven't opened it and he's been slightly pestering me um, to get um like to send him things i mean not pest me but he's been asking oh have you do you like the shirt and you're like i haven't opened it yet um but it's one of them um so let's go open to it and see what we think uh, fingers crossed it's better than last month's so i've just now cut uh down using some scissors down the sides and at the front so i'm now gonna hopefully if we can get into it open there we go, yep, we can. Um, hopefully you can't see my address there, but we're gonna open this for the first time, hopefully. There we go. And we're opening it up straight away. Um, looks like that is the Real Sociedad badge, as far as I'm aware. Um, let's have a look quickly. Yep, Real Sociedad, nickname Los Tuxi Uridin, uh, the white and blues, you can't see my face, but you know, Spanish Liga, this is a 2015-2016 Real Sociedad away shirt, apparently. Let's see what colour it is, I have no idea. Oh, a bit of rustling, ooh. Oh, goodies, I love that. Uh, I don't know. Obviously it's branded with their sticker. Now let's see what colour shirt we have here. Oh, it's red. Obviously, I like red shirts. Uh, currently in the Costa Rica shirt. Uh, but it's a red shirt, Adidas. Ooh, it's quite nice actually. Look at it in the bag. And I guess I'm just going to go have a look and see how much it's worth. And uh, we'll try it on. So, there we go. I found it on uh, vintagefootballshirts.com for 25 quid. I paid 27 pounds for the mystery box, um, all everything included. So he's probably lost money on this top, which is great for me, obviously, well for him. But nice of him to send out. It's a really nice color. It's not actually red. It's more like a, a maroony and then red striped. It's really nice. Obviously, it's got the uh, sponsor on the front. The uh, nice embroidered like it's not the actual badge it's like a, a red version as the tags come down um, but yeah it's kind of just like a red red and uh, light blue I don't know if you can see it with the light in the background it's like a light bluey color and um, it's quite nice and obviously the Adidas logo um, it kind of matches the blue around the collar uh, which you can see apologies for my uh, see my throat there and obviously official La Liga badge on the side um, most teams nowadays are coming up with more sponsors around places so um, canal on the side and then on the back there's also a bank on the rear uh, as I saw as I was putting it on and then also on the back you can see there's like a flag I presume it's the area in Spain's flag wherever they are uh, Sociedad but I'm happy with that that is a good purchase there really i mean you can't get any better than that way better than last week's i would not recommend the company we used last week's but this lad hit him up on instagram he's got loads of uh, options he's had loads of reviews from previous people his stories are quite active and um, so you'll be able to see and um, help out a small a business man uh, but uh, thanks for watching this part of the episode let's get straight on to what we bought in the rest of june so here we go with the first top that we've bought this um, month. It's a Kaiser Chiefs uh, shirt. 
It was on Sports Direct for I think $26.99. Um, I thought it's a pretty cool design really, might as well give it a go. Um, I didn't want to go on to um, classicfootballshirts.com this month because I ended up spending way too much money on there. Um, so getting these two uh, tops um, from different places, um, I already spent too much money on the other top. So I thought I'd go for a cheap option and then that would do me. Um, but it's a nice shirt from here. Um, obviously a South African team, so my first team from South Africa so far. Um, so let's put the bugger on and see what we think. Okay, mistakes were made. I am a small. This is a child small. I wonder why it was so cheap. Um, they weren't very clear that it was a genius top. So now I feel like a bit of a tit. Um, so if anyone wants a junior Kaiser Chiefs um, shirt, hit me up. Um, I believe it's a small junior one. That's very annoying. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. But as you can see, it's a cool kit anyway. And the nice stripes along the, uh, the front and the back continues with it along there. Um, so it looks like I've only bought one kit this month. Oops. Well, we're on to um, this shirt now. Obviously the only top else I've bought this um, this month. I'm a bit annoyed now, to be honest. Um, but hopefully this will chirp up my spirits. Obviously I'm a Liverpool fan, um, but I'm not a Liverpool uh, fan enough to spend £90 at the start of the season for a new shirt. I wait till the end of the season to buy a shirt. And then also you can get a number on the back and a name on the back. Um, uh, or a player or whatever you want for a lot cheaper than you would now. My brother's accidentally drunk, just bought this new season that's just come out, um, Liverpool shirt with Virgil van Dijk on the back for £95. I'm not paying £95 for a shirt that's going to be so many around um, to get. Um, so this, I believe, I paid £40 for, I think. Uh, which isn't a lot in the big scheme of things. I mean, I did a little bit better on last season's Milner shirt, uh, which I only got for 35. So uh, 40 is not too bad. Um, but I guess you'll see what it looks like on and see. You can probably take a guess who the hell is on the back there. Um, but let's put it on and see what we think. Hey, I got a football shirt that actually bloody fits me. Bloody idiot. Um, so obviously this is just this season's Gone at Liverpool shirt uh, with the blue stripes and uh, around the collar and the neck. Um, a little bit of a v-neck one, which is not particularly to my liking, but it's not too bad. Um, and on the back, we decided to go for Andy Robertson at number 26. I thought, I'm a fullback. What's wrong with that? Apologies, there was an interruption there. So I did, and at the end of it, I decided to get this from Kit Bag. Um, I could have got this from Sports Direct as well for a similar price, uh, but Kit Bag uh, came up first on my suggested, so I decided to get it from them. Get a bit of a gut, so I'm getting worried that it's more fits on my football tops. But yeah, obviously nice, you know what it is, it's Nike nowadays, uh, not New Balance like the previous kits. Good kit, I'll obviously get the next uh, Liverpool kit at the end of next season unless it comes cheaper uh, but I'm pretty happy with this one I'll definitely be wearing this in my soccer sixes once I stop being injured I uh, went over on my ankle in a game uh, the tail end of this season and um, it's pretty knackered so I need to go get it checked out but this was like over a month ago now nearly two months ago I'm just lazy I don't want to wait six hours to be told just rest it so, I realised that video was a bit short, so we're going to have one more shirt to the mix. Um, I realised, obviously, it's the Euros. I don't have an England shirt, I'm obviously from uh, England, so I need an England shirt for when I go to the pub to watch us play. Um, I've actually missed the first game against Croatia. We've got Scotland this weekend when I'm recording this, um, so I obviously need to get an England top. I thought I'll have, have a look on classic football shirts, they're a bit too expensive. I'm only going to wear it for this tournament, so I thought I might as well get one off eBay. Um, so let's have a look and see what we've got. So this is what we've got. I've decided not to get a new uh, kit. I prefer old kits anyway, as you can see. 
It's a very old kit with, you can kind of see the number there. And you can see where I've got this from. Um, I got it from, obviously, eBay, but a company called Football Finery. Me. Don't know, it doesn't mean anything to me. But let's open it and see what we think. So, here is the kit. It's the 2006 World Cup jersey. In a small, obviously, because that's what I am. You can see the number four. And for England, that obviously only means one thing. Mr. Stevie Gerrard. Of course, I can have him on the back. Um, obviously, a very, very nice shirt. Basically new. I mean, there's no marks on it at all. It's not got tags on it, obviously. But the back's fine. The name's beautiful. Absolutely cracking kit. So, um, I think I will put it on and see what we think. So, here we are with the kit on. It's quite tight around the arms, not going to lie. Um, a bit weird, but it's one of them. I think it just needs unfolding a little bit more and just a little bit more wear. I obviously don't have the biggest arms in the world, so <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, really nice kit, good quality. Obviously the one star above it and number four, obviously made by Umbro. On the back, even if it was a fake or is a fake, I'm not really bothered. I'm only going to wear it for this tournament. It only cost me 25, 23, something like that, 20 quid, something like that. I don't know what it is, but obviously it's nice at that indeed. Um, so uh, that is this, that for this video. I accidentally bought another one of these, but it was in a small Young's, again, like I did for the Kaiser Chiefs top. Um, so I managed to contact them before they actually sent it. It was badly marked, so basically that's why I ended up buying it. Um, so we all good then. But obviously, link in the description for all the tops in the video, and uh, obviously a link to our My Football Shirt collection. So thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye bye.